So apparently I'm on my way to the rehearsal ground. Um, First of all, I'd like to express my heartfelt um, apology for anybody who used to watch me in 2019. Man, God, that videos were bad. But to be honest, they are still better than... And also, I'd like to express my apologies to anybody who will be offended in this video. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's proceed. Guys, uh, I hate to say this, but you know, I've been going through a lot of... Uh, stuff late <laughs> i'm joking uh, apparently i went to pick a job and i promised them i could do it within one month then <laughs> voila i can't do it within one month so now there's stress i'm hot my issue and if i'm to do the content i wanted to do let's just say there wouldn't have been any monday 5 p.m to look up to hey guys uh, you can't blame me man uh, my mom for chopped and so uh here we are i want to rant today and so the basis of my topic today is to talk about my editing process advice and talk about Ghanaian youtubers uh, Shots are going to be fired and so if you have bulletproof vests and helmets, just, just wear them and I'm sorry in advance. Before I proceed to the rant and I wanted to analyze my very first vlog which I did in February 2019. From experience, I want to point out some things that you, you shouldn't do as a video creator or a YouTuber. For the love of God, please don't be like this guy. People can deal with bad video quality but for, for bad audio quality, man. Oh my goodness, please never don't don't do that. Don't don't speed up your video if you know your camera wasn't stable. Oh that one <laughs> we call it uh, occupational hazard. It comes with a job. So now that I'm done uh this is myself uh, uh, let, let me address uh, the general public. I know this is for uh, black and new Yemo, but uh, if you guys will permit me, uh let me go all in on these people. My first bullet <laughs> is for Ghanaian YouTube vloggers. Here, take you might need this okay we move to be honest <laughs> oh my god some of you guys are you know for, for the lack of a better word i'll just say i, I watched the first two minutes and i'm already bored basically i'm not here to give tough love or anything it's just reality check i'm, I'm also checking myself um, realistically <laughs> first of all before i proceed let me give you the three triangles of video making i'm sure you've seen somewhere before unique editing content value and a catchy personality. Uh, you need at least one or two of these for your video to be uh, watchable and enjoyable. Unique editing. <laughs> it speaks for itself. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Content value. Uh, what value are you providing to the user? To educate, to entertain, or both? Catchy personality. Uh, to be honest, uh, you either have it or you don't. I I'm sorry. But Sasa, you can find the personality. No, 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 no. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'm being a little bit too harsh. Let me crock you guys a little bit. The word catchy is relative to a specific audience, and catchy goes hand in hand with desire. Meaning everybody has that one thing he or she desires. So if you're doing something you desire, there's a specific audience who actually desire the same thing you desire, and so they will perceive your personality or your desire to be catchy. So once you have the desire for something, you find an audience who actually have the desire for the same thing, and you know, one plus one is a catchy so long and short uh, do what you desire and don't 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 follow the crowd so uh, assess yourself uh, if you don't have a catchy personality no need to worry you have the rest of the two you can develop okay with that out of the way i want to be harsh but at the same time i want to be soft <laughs> you know on the 26th of february 2019 i posted my very first vlog and i didn't miss a single saturday maybe a few so you can conclude with experience that I know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, I'm just here to rant and take anything I say with a um, grain of salt. So well, uh, so now with that out of the way, how do you think of YouTube? How do you think of video making process? You are basically a director. Think of YouTube or even video making process as a politician. What are the characteristics of a good politician? To help his people and to make sure that his people are well and you know everything is rosy and no. The characteristics of a good or should I say clever politician is to make the people think He's helping them and everything is good and everything is rosy and yeah blah 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 so question right now will be uh how well i'm not a political science student but uh in a democratic state every politician has about four years to basically prove themselves and let's be real and honest here no politician can be 10 out of 10 in all the four years so now question is how do i make the people think that i was the best in all the four years timing funny enough it's more simple than that and, and let's be honest here we humans have the mind of a praying mantis we forget things 
very easily. And so now as a politician or a YouTuber, you use that to your advantage. Question now is, how do you? Simple. And so to a politician, the first and the last years are the most crucial years in their run. So what do you do? You make sure that your first and your last years are Doing that makes the people perceive you to be one of the best. So now bring that to YouTube. People literally do not care what's in the middle. Your first minute and your last minute should be killer. Like trust me, it should be killer. Your beginning and your end. And that's the problem I have with some some Ghanaian YouTube vloggers. Well, some others I do enjoy, but I'm not going to mention names because I don't want to stay up any beef, even though I'm staying one up uh, right now. But basically, if you have any of the qualities or the traits of anything I've mentioned or I'm about to mention, just know I enjoy your content sometimes. <laughs> Am I hitting some targets right now? Good. I'm grabbing the rifle then. Brace yourselves. Video making process or YouTube in general is science. Here's why. As the years go by and with the introduction of TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Stories, our brain's concentration has now moved from a praying mantis to a church of life. Question now is how do you make videos for church of life? Oh no, 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 my fans, no, you, you guys are not church of life. You guys are the Einsteins, the Christopher Columbus, Mother Teresa, Alexander the Great, um, Incrumens, Incrumens are the ones in Medina. <sighs> damage control <laughs> when i'm making youtube videos or even creating content in general there's a rule i invented for myself which i call the 45 second rule simply put anytime you do something interesting or catchy in your video you simply have about 45 seconds of grace period for your viewers to listen to the uh, nonsense or the boring content you are talking about before they click off so you basically have between 45 seconds to retain the viewers attention again and the cycle repeats itself for as long as the video you know keeps on going question is how the first thing jump cuts let me explain you don't like the Silence, right? Yes. Okay, so now this is what jump cuts do. Jump cuts make the boring thing you listen to become this. You don't like the silence, right? Yes. Yes. And so one way it helps is that it just keeps the viewers engaged and you can use it very creatively. And so now I don't want to see. Hi guys. So today it was, I entered a car today. You know, this was my first time holding a steering wheel. Oh my God, guys. I wish you guys were here. You guys missed out. Visual representation, jump cuts. Whoosh, guys, this is actually my first time on the steering wheel. Let me take you through. Don't tell them, show them. I'm, I'm not saying my version is better, but uh, yeah, visual representation, please. But don't use jump cut too much because it can become very annoying like seriously annoying like use them in moderation moving on guys i'm doing this and i'm bashing all of you guys because i genuinely want to see the Ghanaian youtube community grow i started youtube not because of making money it was because of the passion and the love i had for it oh eight minutes <laughs> time has soon <laughs> i can put mid roll ads here all right guys uh, thank you for coming for my tech talk and uh, <laughs> i'll see you guys uh, next week bye you guys bye. Ah. I'm joking guys, I am joking, I am joking guys, I can't do that to you guys. The other thing I wanted to mention was pay attention to your song selection guys, it's very crucial. But well, enough said on that side, moving on and always edit to the beat always edit to the beat i can't stress this enough uh okay moving on guys since we're actually creating a genuine connection i want to tell you one of my greatest secrets come closer the reality is nobody actually cares about you or even what you do you have to actually make them care about you or what you do so don't really feel entitled to anything or anyone that's one of my greatest secrets and that's what keeps me going and so when you're doing something you actually want people to care it actually has to be a benefit to them for them to care my controller if you are my real friend you support my hustle don't don't do that you know i'm saying all these things because you know i, I really wish i knew all these things earlier because i really suffered in the beginning and obviously yes would i say my content was bad not really but i was doing things for myself you know basically everything was centered on me and Nobody really cares about me for who's controller. No, nobody really cares. When I started doing videos on people they actually cared about, now the attention came. You understand? So uh, yeah, I, I'm basically talking from experience. Uh, yeah. Guys, let, let me give you a scenario here, right? Uh, let's just say, you know, you wake up one day and say you start YouTube, you know, you're grinding every day, you post every single Saturday without missing a Saturday. M maybe a few. For two years, 
for two good years and you get only about 200 subscribe 200 subs for two for two good years see even if each day i go on the street and i let one person subscribe you'll subscribe to my channel you'll subscribe to my channel that's 365 people in one year 365 times two is a uh, to the man <laughs> You see that laughter, background laughter there? Yeah, don't do not do that. Don't, don't do that. Here's why. See, I for one, I love dirty jokes, right? Don't ask me why. I, I just love dirty jokes. Yeah. You know, say the most boring dirty joke in the world and you at least get a giggle from it. Oh my God, you're such a pervert. Nasty. Oh, fear. I know everybody might like dirty jokes, right? So now if I place the artificial background laughter in everywhere I perceive to be a joke, I might have wasted two seconds of someone's time because the person might not perceive that to be a joke get my point so it makes your video kind of still at some point if you're not giving like good punchlines right except except your, your joke is like a uh, top notch man but you get my point uh that's why i don't really dig uh, artificial background laughter we, we left them in 1996. <laughs> one more thing when you put memes on every point of your video even though it's not necessary oh my god you know what there's somebody who's actually more frustrated than me on this topic so I i'll just let him express his feelings but guys uh, don't get your feelings hurt. This one bites. Oh boy. <sighs> hey, I'm back on the channel. Thank you, bro. All right, let's get to it. Memes. Our memes are a very essential part of our lives. We need them to survive. But there's an epidemic of memes in every single second of every single YouTube video that's driving me insane. I think they became popular because of uh, Paul's GH or Think You're Smart. These guys who go out and ask questions uh, on the streets and people give them ridiculous answers and that works because it comes right after somebody has said something very ridiculous you know so like who is joe biden he said <laughs> meme you understand and so it's like a one-two punch but if you are doing a vlog or a story time or you know a normal youtube video and you put a meme after Chai. every <laughs> single okay. line oh my god it becomes insane to watch you know i mean i can't count the number of times i've seen i hear somebody say something you know something normal something perfectly normal you know maybe story time we are talking about something we had sex with this guy and then the next thing i hear is i post to hear like seriously guys listen 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 I'm, I'm not knocking you i'm not telling you what to do you can do whatever you want to do again it's your channel right but just know that the fact that you put a funny meme behind something doesn't mean the thing is funny or doesn't mean the people who are watching the video will find it funny it just doesn't work like that if you say something ridiculous and then you put a meme behind it that might work but oh my god guys i was walking down the streets meme <laughs> it's like bro that's all i have to say about memes back to you controller wow uh, thank you guys this video is getting too long i probably might do a sequel to talk about more secrets but if any of you got offended in this video uh cry i'm joking it's a joke okay guys uh leave a like come on man come on man. and if you guys want to see more videos like this uh don't 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 subscribe neemo is there black is there and let's play is there huh is this how black feels when it goes all in on people Whew. Man, man this is therapeutic <laughs> anyways if you guys want to see more music related content and me insulting your favorite artist in the coming future be my guest okay bye can i take a minute of your time baby girl I wanna tell you something that could change your mind